there was that report that came out about how the up north company is interested in you guys. I guess I'm going to detect this question from a different angle is how much damage control do you guys have to do when some kind of report comes out? We didn't do any damage control. I think that both companies are in the business of getting talent and getting talented talent, not just any talent. And I think they've seen the waves we've made, especially in the last eight months, eight to 10 months, more so the last four months, 2022 has been awesome for us. So why wouldn't they put feelers out? Why wouldn't they ask about us? And here's the thing is we respect Tony so much. We would never in a million years while we're contract with Tony, would we ever go behind his back and talk contract status with anybody else? No other company, we would never, we would never do that to him because we have too much respect for what he's given us and allowed us to do. Now on the flip side of that, you know, we're going to go where professional wrestling takes us and wherever the best opportunity is for us, wherever we can, again, build upon our legacy. That's the most important thing. Obviously money is really, really cool. I'm allowed to take care of my wife and daughter. Whenever I initially, we initially got the, the contract offer from WWE. I called my grandmother and I told her how much it was. And I told her, I think I'm going to turn it down. And her exact words were, David, how much money do you need? And I was like, oh my God, she's right. Like my dad and my mom busted their ass to take care of me. And if they can do it, I can do the same thing. I don't have to do this. I do it because I love it. So we're going to go wherever the love of wrestling takes us. Yeah. Again, neither one of us come from money. Neither one of us need a lot of money. So I could do what, as long as I do what I love, again, when I had doubts about wanting to keep going, it's because I didn't know if I was still having fun. When I made that conscious decision to just have the most fun I could with everything, I think that was a big turning point. I can't see myself changing anything right now. This is the closest vision I have to pro wrestling. Like the territory days, we're doing it. Like, I feel like we kind of work territories right now. Yeah. AEW is where we're, it's our home but we get a chance to go to mexico we get a chance to go to ring of honor and we get a chance hopefully to go to japan all these other places that's cool as hell to me that's my dream of wrestling that's what i see and that's what i have fun doing if i'm not having fun i don't care how much money i'm making i, I, I won't do it so as long as i'm having fun that's what matters to me so i can't see anything changing right now 